Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to bake bacon in the oven. This is my favorite way to cook bacon because it's so easy and so convenient, you'll never go back to making bacon in the frying pan ever again. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and then line a baker's half sheet with parchment paper. Another option is to line your pan with aluminum foil and top it with a nonstick wire cooling rack. I'm showing you both methods today so you can see the subtle differences between the two. Then just start laying out your slices. Bacon shrinks as it cooks, so you wanna make sure that you line them up so that they're touching. I find that to fit an entire pound of bacon, I also put two on the side as well. You'll notice that these two overlap. Overlapped bacon will stick together, but I figure I'd rather sacrifice these two and have them stick than not be able to fit them at all. For the wire rack method, it's the same idea. Just line up your bacon so that it's touching, but not overlapping. One of the disadvantages to the wire rack is that I can never quite fit a whole pound of bacon. Either of these methods will work for thick cut bacon or even turkey bacon. The cooking times just change slightly. Next, we're gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how crispy you like your bacon. For thick cut bacon or even really, really crispy bacon, you'll go as high as 25 to 30 minutes. Now, at 15 minutes, you'll see what the bacon looks like. It's still pretty soft, but it is fully cooked through. So if you like yours a little more well done, you'll add more time as you see fit. And here, is our finished bacon. Last, you'll use tongs to remove the bacon from the baking sheet and transfer it to a paper towel lined plate. Get it out of that grease. If we take a close look at these two, you can see what happens when you overlap your bacon. They do stick together and they don't easily come apart. Now the wire rack method has the same cooking times and we'll take a look at what the differences are between the two methods. This is the rack method after 15 minutes. You can see that because the bacon isn't cooking in its own grease, it doesn't quite crumple up as much. There's still shrinkage, but it doesn't quite crumple and pull together. So any breaks in the bacon will be exacerbated. While they definitely have the same flavor, you can see that bacon cooked on the rack doesn't get quite as crispy because it's not frying in its own greases. But some people prefer this method because they view it as a little bit healthier as the grease does fall off easier. Because of course, once again, you are not cooking the bacon in its own grease. I do prefer the parchment paper method because it does produce a lovely, perfect piece of bacon. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.